news. Uh, we've all heard the news, I believe, that Scott Parker is now the 30th Burnley manager in its history of 142 years. Yes, Scott Parker is 43 years old and he, he managed uh, Club Brugge and he also managed um, Fulham in 21-22 and his last appointment was with Bournemouth 22-23. Uh, he seems that he just lasts one particular season, but that's um, that's something that Burnley will have to look at. Hopefully, when Burnley get promoted to the Premier League, to see just how he does in the next ten, fifteen games. Hopefully, uh, we've got. I've got the. I've given you the fixtures list in my last video. So what I want to do now, it might be a little bit uh, tedious, but I'm going to read out the rest of the fixtures for January, oh, oh sorry, for 2025, right from January the 1st to the 3rd of May. I'm telling you we're home and away and what times they actually are going to start to play. So, I'm going to start in January, the 1st of January, which is a Wednesday, uh, 3 o'clock kickoff. We are home to Stoke City. On the 4th of January, we are away at our favourite derby match, Blackburn Rovers, Saturday, um, the 4th of January. And then we have uh, some kind of break. I don't know what, what it's going to be, but uh, be, the, not, we don't start playing again till the 18th of January. And we are home to Sunderland at 3 o'clock kickoff. Then we've got, if you want to travel to Plymouth from Burnley for a 7.45 p.m. kickoff, we are. Oh, that's on the 22nd of January, away at Plymouth Argyle. And then we've got Leeds United at home on the 25th of January, uh, 3 o'clock kickoff. Going into February, we are the 1st of February. Again, it's a long way to go for Burnley fans. Portsmouth at 3 o'clock kickoff. On the 8th of February, we are home to Oxford United, 3 o'clock kickoff. Uh, 12th of February, we are home again to Hull City. It's a 7:45 p.m. kickoff. Most likely, that's going to be a Tuesday. Um, on the 15th of February, we've got a good derby match away at Preston, Un Preston United, a three o'clock kickoff. On the 22nd of February, we are home to Sheffield Wednesday, another derby, uh, three o'clock kickoff. And then on the 1st of March, we are away to Cardiff City. Another uh, journey, I think that you will um, agree with me, uh, three o'clock kickoff at Cardiff City. <laughs> On the 11th of March, we are home to West Brom. It's a 7.45 p.m. kickoff. Uh, on the 15th of March, we are away at Swansea, uh, 3 o'clock kickoff. On the 29th of March, we are home to Bristol City, um, 3 o'clock kickoff. Going into April, on the 5th of April, we are away at Coventry, 3 o'clock kickoff. On the 9th, uh, of April, we are away at Derby County, uh, 7.45 p.m. kickoff at Derby. And the 12th of, of uh, April, we are home to Norwich. Um, hopefully, we're going to uh, get with Barnes, who went to Norwich uh, last season. Hopefully, he's still playing for Norwich. Be a great, great um, respect for Mr. Barnes. Uh, from the Burnley fans, I believe that would be. Right, on the 18th of April, we are away at Watford. Three o'clock kickoff. And then we've got another derby match on the 21st of April uh, at home to Sheffield Wednesday. 
United, sorry, Sheffield United. Um, we are home for that. Coming into the last two games of the season, um, 26th of April, we are away at Queen's Park Rangers. And the last game of the season, we are home to Millwall. Will that be the game that takes us up to the Premier League? Who knows how Scott Parker will um, lay out the tactics for a Burnley team that had the tactics drilled into them by Vincent Company. He he was trying to get Burnley to 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 actually play out from the back, which, as you all know, resulted in some very very bad situations, and we could have won the matches, uh, those matches, or even drawn those matches that we actually made those mistakes. Um, Murick made a mistake and so did Trafford. Uh, but apparently Murick has asked to leave Burnley and Trafford is looking like he's going to sign for... I'm not sure if it's Newcastle now or Birmingham or, or some other club, but not necessarily Birmingham, sorry. But um, yeah, we've got Two new signings come in as well. I, I haven't got their names in front of me, but uh, they're defenders. We've probably got some more um, players coming in and possibly even players going, like Charlie Taylor, who's left Burnley now for Southampton, who are now back in the Premier League. Right, um, as you can see, I'm not in my Burnley attire. Uh, scarf and hat and jersey because it's not we haven't really started the season yet it's another five five weeks I think it's five weeks to, to, to actually start the championship uh, Mr Scott Parker has got a lot to do on the on the training ground to install his method of uh, how to play where to play the, the positions uh, and to actually instill, uh, as he says in his interview, he wants to encourage uh, every single member of the Burnley team into a winning mentality and to get going forward from the kickoff. And we have some uh, hard games starting at Luton. Uh, we're going to play Luton in the first game of the season. And then we've got um, we've got uh, Blackburn Rovers, and we've also got Leeds United coming in to the first few games of the season. So let's hope that Scott Parker can actually get this Burnley team on a winning note, which he tells me not tells me, sorry, tells um, the Burnley that that's what he wants to do. He wants Burnley to start winning games. Okay, well that's it for now. Um, this is the 6th of July 2024 and this has been Let's Talk Burnley number 141. Okay, all the best Dan. Up the clarets. Come on lads. Let's prove to Scott Parker that this Burnley team can achieve wonders this season. All the best Dan. Up the clarets. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.